then I spell it with an E on the end. So this is a testis right here, and this testis is covered by this skin and a little bit of fat that is called the scrotum. So it's protected by the scrotum. And then here you can see the penis, which is the organ that is going to deposit the uh, semen in the female vagina. And then you see right here from the testes, the testis is actually just made up of a bunch of tubules. They're called seminiferous tubules. I'll show them to you in lecture. And all of those tubules, inside of those tubules, is where the sperm develop. And all of those tubules, seminiferous tubules, come together to form this comma-shaped structure that is called the epididymis. And it's here in the epididymis where the sperm actually undergo their final maturation. Once the sperm have reached this spot right here, they're now ready to fertilize an egg. If the sperm are coming from this right here, they're not mature enough uh, to fertilize an egg. So this epididymis is where they mature. The epididymis then continues as this tube right here that is called the vas deferens or ductus deferens. And, um, and this same tube loops around. Do you guys remember what this tube is right here? What's this organ right here? That's the bladder, and so this is the ureters. ureters. So remember how it loops around the ureters, and it comes around to the back, and it eventually is going to merge with this organ, which we're going to call the seminal vesicle. But before we get too far, let me stick on page two. Identify this organ right here. Testes. Testes. Identify this structure. Yes. Identify the organ. Yes. Penis. Um, identify this organ right here. Epididymis and identify this organ, vas deferens or ductus deferens, and then um, this right here would be what? This tube right here urethra. is the urethra. Okay, and then one other structure. When we look at the penis, the penis is made up of three columns of what we call erectile tissue. And it's kind of neat the way that this erectile tissue works because whenever the male is sexually excited, the, uh, the penile artery brings blood to the male uh, penis, and the blood fills up, the, fills in the spaces between that erectile tissue, and then the uh, penile vein shuts off so that the blood can't drain. So all of the blood is stuck in those spaces between this erectile tissue, and that's what gives the male the erection. If the male is no longer sexually excited, then the penile vein opens, the blood drains, and the penis becomes flaccid, you know, what we call flaccid. So here on this, it's showing a flaccid penis. Um, those Three columns of erectal tissue are um, given specific names. So on the middle of page two, you see the terms corpus spongiosum and corpus cavernosum. That's the name that we give to those three columns of tissue. The two of them together are called corpora cavernosa, uh, as opposed to corpus. Corpus is just singular. You know, corpora means two, two bodies, two bodies of erectal tissue, corpora cavernosa, and then a single corpus spongiosum.